because you commute okay. every day on the bus, you probably hear a lot coming in and out of Leeds. On the bit of rough on areas. The way, on the way back, everyone's fairly quiet. There's a strict code: no talking in the morning. Well, it's an unwritten <laughs> no, rule, isn't it? No talking in the morning, and there's effectively a seating plan on the bus. All oh, right, because everyone gets on the same bus. There's everyone a set knows. amount of seats. I rarely get to sit down in the morning, oh, um, but if I do. Shit, if I do, I do. You know. If you don't, uh, you don't. You might get a mucky look from an old lady, but I'm just pretending to look at my phone. So. <laughs> <laughs> she's she's staring out everyone, looking for that little bit of eye contact <laughs> for someone to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah, can, you can sit down. Yeah, you can sit down. Well, maybe you should be giving up your seat for old ladies. It's eight in the morning. <laughs> You're right. No, it's not eight for her. But a lot is of it? this, a lot of this happens on the way back. Uh, I mean, to be honest, what is she doing at 8 in the morning? She doesn't need to go into Leeds at that time. She should wait. You get a free pass. You can go any time you want, love. You so don't have fault. to get on this bus. You so you're on... teaching her a lesson, yeah, really, we're teaching. You? We're all teaching her a lesson as a group. Um, <laughs> yeah. So so in terms of the stories we've got, I've got one that I overheard in a pizza place. Okay, um, Barry. Fairly quiet, and it was just a really, really quiet place. Um, and I just heard this obnoxious guy next to me um, probably about mid 30s mid 30s what sort was of the age. occasion we're going for this pizza nothing just nice day nice day fancy the pizza nice pint. Um, but yeah so his story was he works for the NHS maybe bottom bottom tier NHS worker right and this was his story just to give you an idea of what he's like he's a bullshitter this story is bullshit it's just one of them that you can smell he's it. He's made this up on the spot, or something similar <laughs> has happened, and he's decided to exaggerate it massively. Right. So his story was, um, so he was talking to his friend, he was trying to show off, oh, I'm big, I'm big in the NHS, and he goes, so one of head directors come up to me, and uh, I doubt she was a head director, she might have been in middle management somewhere, you know. Yeah. She might have not even worked for the NHS. I doubt she said these words as well. She came up to me and said... Do you care about anything in life? Why would she jump into that? Why would she say this to this what, random... Was this the first interaction he's yeah, had with her? Yeah, from this apparent top director so level what, NHS person. This guy is intriguing me, continue. Yeah. Uh, why would she say that if she wasn't incredibly annoyed yeah, at him as it is? Yeah. And he said, no, I don't. And, <laughs> and she went, apparently, she went, why? And he said, if I cared about anything, first of all, I'd be in your position. And, yeah, and he's he, at this point he's he's starting to lean back and go, yeah, look at me, I'm a big man. Yeah, he's one of them that thinks his life's a fucking film. Yeah, just fucking. Yeah. He's he's always got the quip. He's always said the right thing at the right time. And this is the bit that so you. that amazed me. So first of all, he'd have her job, is what he's saying. And second of all, I'd be dead. <laughs> And then he sits back in his chair. Relax. Now, does that make any sense to anyone? No, it doesn't. Move on then. Moving on. <laughs> uh, this is a bus conversation. To give you a bit of background, three 15-year-olds sat on a bus. Your one, demographic. One male, two female. The male is doing a lot of the talking. The male is being asked a lot Stop of questions. Stop the male. Um, is the male trying to impress the female? I think he is, but without letting them know. Showing off. Yeah. A bit. little bit, a little bit, but they, they're quite eager as well, I'd say. Right, so um, they're game on it. So, yeah, he says... They say, do you smoke? As in cigarettes. He goes, yeah, I can smoke my, what I want. And then they say, I heard they're bad for your lungs or something. <laughs> he says, but we're all going to die. <laughs> later the same, this is the same conversation, yeah. just a little later yeah. on. He's talking about the different drugs that he's taken. This 15-year-old, nice. including meth, right? And um, so yeah, he's taken a lot of drugs. What? And he's not do bothered, I have a run down he's not the bothered he's about taken? his health. Meth, meth was the worst one. Meth was the one that I picked out. I went, that's an oddity. That's a bit extreme it's for a fifteen-year-old. If anything. Um, and then later on, he says he's talking about shagging his girlfriend, and things like that. Um, and he goes, I would never take Viagra. You know, you don't know what can happen. <laughs> well, first of all, he don't know what he's missing. For a start. Viagra. <laughs> Viagra. I tell you what, Nath caught me with a blue eel the day, didn't you, Nath? Um, I'll tell you what it is about my dating life, because mm. I'm only going to shag them once. When you shag a bird for the first time, you want to make an impression. Right. Surely. And I'm only going to shag them once. So 
every time is the first impression you for want, me. You want a good trip advisor review, really. Yeah, that's what I want. I want a first time, <laughs> first time Deco only. Experience. Really great. The Marcus Hardeco experience, rate it. Just good. <laughs> what what would the trip advisor review say? So we've got what how many stars out of five are we talking from these girls? I'd probably say I'm about three and a half to four. Three Not special. Half, four stars. <laughs> We're a middle of the road restaurant, maybe like uh a little, I mean, a little it, chef. It, it, a little depends. Chef. <laughs> it, it all depends on the factor of how, like, are they, am I attracted to them? Because uh, I'm usually not. <laughs> <laughs> you are live on. I know. Oh. Um, <clears throat> so we've got, I've got a final send off from from the bus guy. To okay, be honest. please continue. Uh, one of the girls asks, "How's life?" He goes, "It's cushy." <laughs> Apart from the fact I might be getting put into care. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bummer. She, she says, Ain't your mum a druggie? He says, She just smokes bud. Oh, fine then. <laughs>